didn't see it there. I was just. <laughs> I'm a Valentine dog. What is up, everybody? I'm a Valentine. Oh my god, I forgot my lip gloss. Hold on. I'm a Valentine dog. What is up, everybody? I'm a Valentine. Oh my god, I forgot my lip gloss. Hold on. 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 Hold on but it's one of those ones where it's like, usually it's like $20, sometimes it goes up $2 or $3 and comes back down. It fluctuates, but it's the same wig. Now, I have bought this wig probably like a good two or three times, and I'm planning to buy it again because your girl got paid today, period. But I have a budget, so I'm kind of like, mm, should I just wait? Anyways, um, this wig is actually kind of a little bit old now. So it is thinning, um, you know, every time you brush a wig, you know the hair is not growing again of course so it starts to look thinner but this one still looks pretty good and it made me think just now actually y'all if y'all don't know this this is Alma's world I chat so I'm going to chat if you do not like chatting this channel is not for you girl much love but please leave girl but if you're here with me and you're trying to soak up the Alma's energy okay then let's just chat so this morning, went to work. Um, my coworker made me this drink. And girl, it was like a sample version. It was this tiny. Girl, I took a certain sip. Excuse me, I was a drink and I looked at her and said, why would you give me this? It tasted like an onion. I was throwing up, okay? Um, sorry, I'm reading a text message. <clears throat> As I was saying, it tasted like an onion. I felt like I was gonna throw up. I started making a joke to my manager. I was like, oh, like, no, that really did taste like an onion. So if I if I seem like I'm about to throw up, like, I'm not playing. Then I, and he was like, oh, where did it come from? And then, he, then I went, oop. And girl, I went to the bathroom and threw up a couple times. So I came back and he was like, okay, you're going home. Went home. I was there for all of like an hour and a half. Um, sorry, I keep seeing those text messages and I'm like, I want to read this, but I need to finish this video first. What's it called? So girl, I came home, okay? And first I was sitting waiting for the bus because she does have a car. Subscribe, girl. Anyways, I was waiting for the bus <laughs> and I like my stomach was kind of settling out while I was sitting there, but I was even contemplating like going back to work, but I'm like, I think you have to be clear of 24 hours of symptoms, symptoms after you like grow up. Cause girl, health and safety, you feel me? Health and safety. Okay, Um. anyways, so <laughs> I was calling my bank cause girl, they locked my car. Thank God she has two banks, here we did. And I need to make sure that I call them because like, I don't know, it's just awkward. I don't want to be on the phone for real, but the lady was nice. Anyways, I need to call them back. What am I talking about right now? I need to call them back. Got off the phone just now with, um, she's like a mentor, but really she's like a friend. <laughs> um, but we were talking about a few different things and I started getting on this like preaching rant about like, you know, the things that I want from my life and like how I'm planning to get them. And like, girl, like when I tell you, I was feeling like, you know what? I will defy my circumstances. I know that from looks, things do not look good. Things don't look good right now. The money don't look right. Prospects don't look too good. Girl, but but that's that's just one perspective. I can flip my perspective and be like, you know what, it might look like that, but that's the thing about faith that I know. It's about the belief in things not seen. Okay, and recognizing that God has something for me, especially if I'm giving what I was supposed to give to the world. So especially with me like putting in work, getting up early, making sure I look good, eating right, trying to inspire the good in the world, trying to be a person that exemplifies the type of life that I believe that we should be living. If I wanna be somebody that's inspired and inspiring, I have to get up, find a way to keep myself inspired. You know, I have to find that way to nourish myself and keep myself on that mindset and that wave. And I noticed that I was watching back this ASMR video that I made last night in the same hat. <laughs> This one might be coming out right after that one. But I noticed how while I was watching it back, I was like, wow, like I didn't feel lonely while I was talking to them. Like while I'm talking to you, I don't feel lonely while I'm talking to you. I don't feel sad while I'm talking to you. Somehow I'll be having the worst day and then I'll come turn on this camera and I feel amazing, I'm energetic, I'm making jokes because I know that one day you will be laughing. I know that one day I'll be making millions of people laugh. I'll be making millions of people cry. Millions of people feel, millions of people inspired. And that's such a beautiful feeling. And I think that I should hold on to that and keep trying to remind myself that like, yes, I do want to have a better summer. Yes, I do want to get my finances in order. Yes, I do want to get paid from YouTube. Yes, I do want a bazillion subscribers. Yes, I do want all these people listening to my Spotify every single month. Yes, I do want to make this amount. Yes, I do want to do this. I want to do that. And I want to be accomplished in this way. I want to be this type of successful. I want to dress like this. I want to look like 
like that. I don't feel like this. And at the same time, remind myself like, yo, the positive things that you do will stay on the internet for the rest of your life. Every time that I put out these videos, like, this is gonna remain after me. Like there's somebody that could be watching this in 200 years and be like, you know what? Let me try today. Let me get up and do something today because I chose to, you know, I came home from being sick and I wasn't feeling that, that much better. I made me some food. I ate, you know, I had a good conversation, an inspiring, uplifting conversation. And it, it was funny because we were talking about some problems, but it's like the way that we look at problems, I received some encouragement and I'm grateful for that. And even the things I was saying was like, I was speaking life into myself. I was speaking life into to the person I was talking to. I was speaking life into my surroundings. And as I look outside and it was raining earlier and now I see that the sun is coming out. These are blessings. These are positive things. These are great things. And I recognize that, you know what? There are other ways that I can make the most of this day. Despite that I was feeling sick earlier, I don't feel as sick right now. And I can make something of my time with what I have. And I was like, you know what? The, cro the thought just crossed my mind because I was about to sit here and work on my um, clothing stuff that I want to make. This, I attempted to print something one time, but then I just didn't try it again because I was like so upset that it didn't go well. And I got, oh, I got a heat press and my Cricut over here collecting dust. I didn't buy these for no reason. I bought these for a reason. And they're not supposed to be what you can see you can see my little velvet pants here check the fit though oh that's not the right part it's supposed to be over here but this is a blue belt these pants are kind of like breaking but anyways y'all whatever um shout out to grayson that's her cat on the sticker she gave me that mirror <laughs> um <laughs> i made these paintings by the way and that's a cute little light that i got from let me turn this on i think it was goodwill that i got it from um but yeah so good things can come great things can happen and yes let me just carpe diem make something on my day and i was like you know like i said the thought crossed my mind i'm like what am i good at i'm really good at like styling these wigs and i i, I mean it's just one of those things where it's like i don't know why <laughs> But I'll be, I'll be looking cute, like with the wigs, girl. And I told y'all, this one is getting kind of old, so it's like thinning a little bit, but I still manage to style it and make it look nice. So I'm like, you know what? There's people who want to know how to do that. There's people, people always think my hair is real too. Like they're always confused whenever I'm like, oh yeah, my wig. They're like, what? That's a wig? And I'm like, yeah, girl, sorry. I was giving the Hawaiian fantasy a little too much. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> But um, yeah, so let me show y'all how I would style a wig, especially one that might be shedding or a little thin or a little older. And even if it's not older girl, a wig that is just a little bit on the cheaper side because all of my wigs so far have been synthetic and one day I will graduate to the non-synthetic, but that all depends on my finances. And for now I'm doing what's work, what works for me. I am a working girl. I am a working girl. I am on my journey of moving up. You get me? So while I'm on the way, I'm doing what works until I can do better. So let me show you how I do that. Okay, so my first tip on how to style your hair with a $20 Amazon wig would be to wear a hat. That's tip number one. Now, I have these cute hats that I have made and I just wear them. Where I work, we have to wear a hat anyway, so it works out. Um, and of course, the hat hair can be hidden under that. <laughs> My head looks so long right now without it. <laughs> so hats always help. Um, but yeah, that's one way. That's how I was wearing it today. Another way, still with the hat, you can do this. But what I like to do is I like to get a claw clip and have it go up. But I like for my hair to come this way up at the top rather than point it down. Because I feel like everybody has it pointed down. Girl, I'm not trying to be like everybody else. <sighs> All right, so I'm sure that y'all can notice. My hair's a little frizzied from the hat. Um, and y'all can see this braid sticking out under the hair. That's because I kind of just dookie braided it, as they would say. Um, because I knew I was wearing a hat, so I knew you really couldn't see that braid under the hat. So I just let this one be gigantic, even though it should be flat. But please excuse that. Don't mind it. Let's move on to the next style. So let's say that I had to have all my hair up because I know some, some places don't let you have the half up, half down even if it's pulled to the back. So what I would do is I would take all of the hair. And like I said, I don't like for my hair to be down like that. I don't like that. I want my hair to be up, right? Because I feel like it just gives its life. Like, you know those people that have locks or dreads, girl, dreadlocks, whatever the fuck, right? And they have that cute little, like pineapple thing with their hair when it comes up. Like when they put it in the ponytail and it sticks up like a pineapple. It's cute, it has life, it has energy, right? 
So I want my hair to have life and have energy. I don't want it to be boring and look like a little mop sitting on my head. Like, I'm not trying to give ugly wig, girl. I'm not trying to give dusty. That's not, <laughs> that's never the goal, <laughs> okay? I don't care if my wig costs $5. We're not trying to give dusty, okay? We're not trying to give, I want to give life. I want to look like I'm alive. I want to look fresh. I want to look healthy. I want to look, mm, you know, like I have some energy to me, right? So it that has a lot to do with the colors that you wear and the ways in which you wear your hair the ways in which that you wear your jewelry pieces the colors that's on your nails colors that's on your lips the colors that you put on your face girl we're trying to look alive look alive don't be set in, dead inside just look alive let's look alive right so like i said i want my hair to be pointed up because things that are alive are up they stand right a healthy flower is going to be up standing straight blooming right so i want my hair to look up right so i grab it i twist it a little bit you see that? Twist it. And I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of like, I want it to look like it was kind of thrown together, but like in a hot way. So like, I don't want it to look like, oh, she tried so hard and it still looked ridiculous. I want it to look like, you know what? She threw it up because she has to wear her hair like that, but she's got some nice hair. Like her hair has some vibes to it. So I, I'm not gonna like make it all neat and perfect first. I mean, of course you could, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to go for, like, the smoothest look. That's just not, that's not my style. So I just kind of grab it loosely. I don't, I don't pull it off perfectly tight like this and twist it a bazillion times. No, I don't do that. Of course you could if that's more your style, but y'all will notice, you know, if you watch through my videos more and just continue to watch me, follow my Instagram at I'm OTW. But you will notice my style is my style, and I, I like to just look alive, fresh, fun, healthy. So... Grabbing it lightly, twisting it a little bit. Cool, I got it up there like that, right? And I want this to not be up too high because then you can see my actual real hairs under there. And it takes away from the effect. We don't want that. So we're gonna let it come down, right? Well, we got that covered right there. You can't really see my natural hair, right? So now I'm gonna open up my claw, get it all in there. And I'm gonna let it hook into my natural hair so it's hooking under a braid right there but you of course can't tell that from the outside um and i need to make sure i have this all pulled down so yeah that's how that one is <laughs> i hope this looks right <laughs> i'm redoing it because <laughs> y'all got the gist but I want it to look right, because it's supposed to look right from all sides, right? So, just doing it again while I'm actually looking <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, oopsie. There we go. Okay. There it is. <laughs> of course, you want to make sure that you can't see your hair, like your natural hair right here. So you can just pull this out a little bit more till it covers it. So you don't want that. You do not want that. It takes away from the effect, like I said. And... I'm not a personal fan of that. So yes, this kind of gives like the Mulan vibes low key. Like you remember when they were like carrying those luggages? I don't know, just, it gives that low key. But it's like, it's cute. It's like interesting. It's like, or Jasmine from um, Aladdin. It's like, who is she? What does she think about? What does she do? She's got something going on in her life. Especially when you have cute earrings with it. It just looks cute. And like I said, it's an updo. It's like, if you have to wear your- Sorry, y'all. My um phone ran out of storage space. And I sat down. And girl, an object at rest can stay at rest, okay? Anyways, so I'm back up and back here. Let's finish this video. So that was the first style. I'm not gonna keep repeating what I was saying. Let's move on to the next style. So, this time, and I'm not- Oh my god, that's my claw. I don't know where my other claw clip is. Oh, girl, that's the one I have. Um, the next style, I'm not even gonna brush it out, 
before I do it. It's literally just doing some braids and then kind of like pulling them back. It's kind of like a half up, half down. Or you can just do that same thing that I just showed y'all, but just basically with braids this time. I told y'all the shedding, it's like always happening. Um, So what I'm doing is, you see how if I lift this up, you can see that line. So I'm gonna, uh oh, 20%. I'm gonna leave some of it down there because I feel like with wigs, like there's sometimes where like, yes, you'll know that it's a wig, especially if you are a fellow black girl and you're good with wigs yourself, you'll be able to know whenever someone's wearing a wig versus not. But still, the illusion is that it is your real hair. And so you just want it to look nice. You want it to look realistic. And something that I also notice is that a lot of times, like the rougher that my wigs start to look, the more realistic they look as well. They also look like it's my real hair for real so even as they get a little older it's not always a bad thing because it looks like it's just your natural hair um you don't always have to braid this this tight for this style you can you also have the option of only doing one and then just having this be like the one accent braid on the style um i did not get my pieces very even but they really don't have to be like i said i don't aim for like the super neat sort of look that's just not really my personal style um i am gonna do two for this one and um oh I need to brush this <laughs> but i'm not going to i don't want to i should get some mousse though because i remember at this one point i did have mousse and i was using it like so much on this one wig that i had but i really loved what it did to the wig and it's literally been years since i would wear that so i think i should get some mousse and it just makes everything look really nice and smooth and slick which i'm not against the smooth and slick it's just not what i'm always going for like for example the slick back bun like those are really really nice i feel like it gives a very like grown and sexy she's got her shit together type of vibe but currently that's not exactly what i'm going for um like i said i'm a working girl and i feel like it's almost like how should i say where I'm at with my life, looking fresh and healthy and just looking as good as I can. Like, of course, that's always what I, what I wanna look like, but there's gonna be other times in life where I do wanna look more slick and more, you know, grown or like things like that. But right now, just looking fresh, looking healthy, looking alive, looking fun. That's kind of what I'm more so going towards. Again, I'm not being perfect with the sizing, of this i picked up a little bit too much hair i don't want y'all to be able to see all the see how you can't see the like the cap or the part where the hair actually comes from don't want that to be there so i'm gonna do that a little bit left that on the ends okay so like i said you have some options with this you can leave it as is which already looks really cute can't say for the back because like I said this one's getting a little thinner but still I'm sure it looks it does look cute yeah it does <laughs> especially if it's like brand new like unbrushed as much it'll look hella cute especially if you're not wearing a hat like I said I'm always wearing hats so I don't really have to worry about the back of my hair I have to look at like worry about how this part looks but yeah it's really cute um it's just Adora will add some texture, switches it up a little bit. Um, and then like I said, you can do the same thing with the putting your hair up and it just adds some texture and fun to it. And um, yeah, and then you can also do like a half up. And now you can pull these back like this, clip or put a little rubber band, have it around there like that. And boom, you have a cute other hairstyle with your $20 wig. Now let's move on to using clips. I freaking love clips, okay? It's part of like how I can keep my look so fun. And I feel like, yes, everyone uses like one clip, girl, if they use one at all. But for all my straight hair, straight haired girlies i feel like y'all could be going off with the flip with the clips like you could be going off with the clips girl but you don't but i will <laughs> so whenever i'm wearing long straight hair girl i am be going off if i can and if i feel comfortable it's just a part of like having it's part of me being me you know what i'm saying but i'm gonna inspire you i'm gonna let you in on how i do what i do all right let's move on to the clips okay so this right here is a bunch of my clips they have some hair on them oh, oh 
I broke it. <laughs> they have some hair on them because they have been in use, girl. Don't trip. Um, anyways, <laughs> fun little story about this. So at work, they have like this party decoration. Um, and my manager brought these back saying that like, oh, they were just gonna throw them away. And she was like, would you wanna wear it? This was on Halloween. And I was like, yeah. And I just wore it. And then I just started wearing it every day. <laughs> started wearing it every day because I felt like it was so cute. Tell me why now this is a trend. And now I'm seeing all these hair clips that look like this in people's hair. And I go on Amazon looking up flower hair clip and I see this after I started wearing it. This was a party decoration. I told you I started wearing it. Look, when I tell you I'm on another wave, babe, your girl is on another wave. I'm ahead of the game always, okay? Anyways, these are my clips. This one was from a very kind lady that I used to work with at Whole Foods. She gave me like a whole bunch of these, a whole bunch of clips because she would see the ones that I would wear. She was like, oh, that's so cute. Like I have all these clips, I'll bring you some. And she really did, uh, it's so sweet. And these are so nice. Like these are the nicest clips that I've ever had. I literally have not seen anybody with clips as cute as this and girl, I love it. Anyways. Um, I was wearing like a bazillion clips all the time with this same wig, by the way, um, back then. So let me show y'all how I do it. And I'm going to get back to wearing these like I used to, but I'm going to still put y'all on. All right. So this one, I would have like more in the front over here. Like you'll notice right here is where the line of the wig is, right? So I don't want this to move and expose me so what i'm doing so i'm gonna clip kind of right in the area and kind of in a way that it brings it together so i can go right there or i can come like right here kind of clip the bang together with it like the very top of the bang together with it so it stays right there and you don't have to have the braids in to be clipping like this either so I can do that right there and I can do the same thing on this side with this one if I want to. For this look, I'm not going to. Now, here's the thing. You can either just go down and just like layer it, make it hella cute as much as you want. You can do one side, which is always freaking adorable and the bitches could never, period. Um, Or <laughs> you could, like look at that. Who the fuck do you know? Who do you know that's cute like this? You don't know anybody, girl. Um, <laughs> what, um what, what, what am I saying? You can also use this clip back here and you can like basically secure your hair, your wig to your braid without really being able to see the braid for real. So it's like you're, you can use it as a multi-purpose. Even with this, you could just go like, oh, I'm gonna do a little half up, half down. But really what I'm doing is I'm clipping it to the braid because I don't want it to move. I did that y'all think smarter think smarter okay and with this i can put it here if i want let it swine let it swine no or i could just put it above this but if there's anything i want to cover like if it's thinning right there because sometimes it'll thin right there i could just have it right there fluff it all out and boom, it looks good. Uh, can't believe I'm giving y'all all my secrets like this. I thought I wouldn't have to start giving y'all my secrets till I was like hella famous, but y'all I'm giving y'all my secrets already? God, I'm gonna have to get some more. Cause like, girl, I can't be telling you all of this. I can't be telling you all this. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Um, I'm gonna keep the braids because, well, maybe not, maybe not. I'll, I'll take out the braids. Ooh. I'm really rocking with the braids today though. So I'm gonna be wearing my hair braided a lot more and putting all these on here way more often because this shit is too cute. And I kind of got away from the habit of doing my hair up like this, but it's so fun and so adorable and so stylish. And that's what I want to be. So I have to make time for that. I'm always like, yeah, I'll just make a short little video. And then I end up making like a long ass video because I'm such a talker. I didn't even start doing the styles till like nine minutes in. <laughs> Ridiculous. I told y'all though, I would be the most YouTuber YouTuber that you've seen in the longest time. And girl, what's more YouTuber YouTuber than this? You know, showing you these tips and tricks. Soon we're gonna get into doing some DIYs because that's what I've always wanted to do, stuff like that. So hope the y'all are enjoying what did i say about this 
There's so much shedding. Just remind me to sweep. Just comment, did you sweep? Question mark. Room question mark? Actually don't, because I'm gonna get pissed. I can just see myself getting annoyed. Like if I see that on a bad day, like this video is two years old and I, I catch on a bad day a comment of, did you sweep question mark? I'll be like, I swear to God. I swear to God. Okay. So going back to the practical side of the decoration, right? So let's say that you work at a job that does not let you do the half up, half down, okay? Cause they're fucking annoying and they don't support you being as cute as you could possibly ever be. So you have to wear your hair pulled back for real, right? And you're at a job that you have to do a lot of bending, moving by, there's things moving around you. Somebody can knock off your wig and your wig is not that secure in the first place, girl. So you need something that is going to allow you to move around comfortably without fear or fidgeting. Like you constantly have to fix your wig or you have to like boop, boop, boop all the time and you need it to stay secure. Similar to what I was showing y'all with that last hack. This time we are going to put all of your hair back. We're going to get an actual ponytail. Again, you can go up if you want. Like I said, I just like to go up. This time I'm going to show you it with just like more of a normal bun. You just kind of skirt, which I have to go get my tie. But we're basically going to use all of those cute pins to legitimately secure it. And it just looks like you're just decorating your hair. But really, you are holding it strategically in place. So I've got my scrunchie. Again, it has little hair because she's been in use, girl. So don't. Don't give me that tripping. Anyways, y'all. I'm going to put my hair up. Like I said, this time we'll do a little bun. So we'll just pull this out a little bit. So I want it to cover this. It's in a bun. So I just watched it back real quick to make sure it was kind of in a bun. I tucked it in here a little bit, but it's in a bun and you can't see my natural hair, which is what I want, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna get those same pins and instead of me just decorating up here to look cute, I'm putting all of these in the back of my hair to secure it and make sure that this stays covered because I don't want this to be coming apart and exposing my natural hair, right? So I'm gonna put something there. I'll start with the flower. So I've got something here that's keeping that hair covered in the back, right? but it just looks like I'm decorating. I do not want this wig to fall off my head whenever I need to move. So I'm pushing this, it has this little fork in it, right? Pushing this right under that braid that is right there. Right at the spot I need to be secured, I can find it. God, I was struggling. And I want it to look right, so I'll make sure I get enough hair in there. And then I'm gonna secure this, but it just looks like it's a decoration. I'm gonna secure this part as well. Again, under another one of my braids, because I need to be like looking under here. Oh, I gotta clean, gotta clean, and not be worried about a damn thing. Okay, I be I cannot be over here worried about this wig falling off my head. No. And then this is gonna be the last one I use, but y'all get the point. Securing this side right here, you know, and then I might get another one put just right here. Maybe just a little clip because I'm keeping this together as if it's like a curtain I'm holding together because I don't want people to see the inside of where my natural hair and my wig separates right here. So it looks like, oh wow, I didn't know that she had, you know, decorations on her hair from the front. It's like, okay, cool, she came to work. She got her hair back. Cute face, cool. Turns out, oh, that's cute. She got a little flower vibes. Summer, she's alive, she's fresh, she's fun, you know? And then I turned back. Ooh, she's a little glamorous. Okay, I feel that, I feel that. And she's in dress code, and she's in dress code. That part, that part. Okay, but last and least, I can't remember how many I did. I think I did four, I might have done five, girl. If this is a bonus, it's a bonus. But I will tell y'all this one. Now, this one is a braid, okay? A singular braid at that. And I'm gonna be real with you. I rarely, if ever, do this. But I did try it one time recently and was kind of into it. Um, I have never really been the most gigantic fan of like braids on hair like this. But like, to be real with you, it actually does look cute. And I think I'm growing as a human being. <laughs> and I think that like the older you get and like 
you know, just the more you grow and the way that you style things for yourself, like you start to like things that you might not have liked in the past because you've seen it styled in a way that you weren't feeling. But with me being me and the way that I do things, the way that I style my wigs, I have to be very creative and try to make it just look good. I try to look good about the house. I look good. I look nice. I make sure I look right right so that is what i'm going to do with this braid like i said all of the shedding in this hair is not growing again right so <sighs> like i said 20 dollar amazon way girl but it's not bad i mean for it it has lasted like a few weeks and you can just buy another one it's not like you spent a hundred dollars on it it's not like you spent all your food money on it like it is an expense and it does take upkeep but girl we deserve it we deserve to look nice. We deserve to step out looking put together and looking good and making sure that we make it a priority to look right and to look good. And it's important. Um, as y'all can see, I'm not brushing it, but I'm separating it. Um, there are days where it's like, I don't really have the time to brush it. I'm too exhausted when I come home. Feeling my feelings and having had a long day maybe. Um, of course you should try to brush it if you can. But I'm just being realistic, being real here. There may be some days where you don't end up brushing it whenever I am trying to actually style it versus just put it up. Um, even if I'm not using a brush, I can just finger comb or at least just separate through like how I am today. And like I said, not perfect. That's not what I'm going for. I'm trying to look cute, okay? So I'm pulling it to one side because this one I'm not going for like the back braid. I don't like how this looks. I don't like how this looks on my face. But this I do like, right? So, cool. I'm gonna separate it in three, like for a normal braid, and I can feel it pulling from the side, which is why I need to make sure I've had it separated enough. All right, now I'm just gonna get to braiding. So here I have more hair on these sides than this side. I'm just gonna re-divvy that out so I can finish braiding it down and it also makes it kind of lock in basically without having to use anything like rubber bands. Also the roughness at the bottom allows it to lock up better because it's more coarse. And then I'm gonna redistribute that again so I can make sure it's nice and locked in there. I'm gonna do that one more time. This one I am coming all the way to the end and getting all together because I don't want it to come all loose and boom there's still a little at the end but there it is now this one I would definitely say looks better with the hat <laughs> in my personal opinion my humble opinion but of course if you don't want to wear a hat that is up to you um I'm gonna put my hat on and show you see it's like it's not as basic as just like wearing my hair back in a bun, but it's still like cute. I put in a little effort for the day, kind of have some swag, you know, especially if I go like this, let my ears show, my earrings are showing, you know, still put yourself together, still make sure that you look cute. And of course it would look nice in the back too, but since I have it ready to the side, boom, it's at the side. All right, y'all. So this is the neat end of this video thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching hope that you guys enjoyed this we really enjoyed my chatting my insight all the little tips and tricks that i showed you if you want to see another video like this please let me know and i will make sure to order another wig as an expense girl no i'll <laughs> order another wig and show you all how it's done how i do it if you guys want to see my makeup tips makeup hacks makeup tricks the products that I use, just let me know. Um, I do have a couple get ready with me's already on this channel, but I would love to do what my audience wants and see what y'all want from me. And yes, just enjoy that with you. Um, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope to see you all in the next one. And annyeong. bye. <laughs>